Um, this is a very interesting um, topic of post that somebody posted on the one and only, what you call it, techno subreddit that I'm going to read out to you because I thought this was very interesting. And I've always wondered actually, what happens if you're if you are this person? If you are this person, how do you actually navigate the techno scene, especially in London or just in general? How do you actually navigate it? How do you find friends? How do you socialize? Because it must be really difficult to do that when you're a young female. It just must be difficult. So this person posted this on the techno subreddit. Um, I'm going to read out to you. And it says the following. I'm a woman in my mid 20s and I work in tech. I'm usually based in London at the moment, but treat the Netherlands as a second home as I used to live there for four years and frequently and frequent very regularly. I'm going this weekend to Amsterdam for 909 Festival in August for Deck Mantle, amongst others. I'm looking for I'm looking to befriend some techno enthusiasts of any gender. I don't mind solo partying, but it can be lonely. Because what do you actually do if you're that person? Because again, I, I rave solo all the time. And it was mostly based out of convenience because I just didn't want to be the person texting people to be like, oh, do you want to come to this place? Do you want to come to this place? And then getting told no. And then their no influencing my mood. And then me saying, I don't want to go anymore. You know, like I think people are fair or people have been their right to say they don't want to go. But then sometimes when someone said they don't want to go, it can sometimes negatively affect your mood and you don't want to go. So, and also, I hate fucking imposing on people, right? I hate some, oh, like, you know, it, sometimes people, I don't know, maybe it's a London thing because people are so, like, uptight about their time and so fucking nervous and shit. Maybe sometimes whenever you offer somebody a plan or you offer them a suggestion to do something, it can sometimes feel like you are, I wouldn't say demanding, but it almost feels like you're putting them in a position where they can't say no. I feel like people sometimes feel like that. So I don't like to ask people about those type of things because I feel like it's a little bit, uh, you know, it's not my place. Anyway, and also to be fair anyway, I'm also a bit of a psycho. I actually enjoy raving on my own. I'm actually one of those weirdos that actually enjoys, you know, doing the pre-drinking, pre-gaming and all that shit on my own. Listening to my tunes, walking to the fucking bus stop, getting, jumping in the Uber. Getting, like, I'll enjoy all that stuff by myself. Like just enjoying the size, being in the queue and fucking around by myself. To, like I enjoy all of it. I don't really mind it. But I'd imagine, especially for a young woman in her mid twenties, it can be tough to be on your own in a club and sometimes if you're on your own in a club depending on what club you go to you could be a bit of a victim you could be a bit of a target so you also have to be careful not to signal that you're on your own too much but then you also want to be open you also want to be open that you are because you want people to be open to talk to you because you want to make friends because where else would you make friends like if you're into techno you're into clubbing where else are you meant to go to make friends of course you should go to a fucking nightclub that's the whole point of, of clubs existing go to make friends um anyway she continues i'm not looking for any friends who <laughs> I, I love this by the way right the a person with no friends being picky about the kind of friends they want right that is typical like she this, this person's not even from london and they're already you know they're already fucking absorbing and embracing the fucking london dna being being a fucking picky beggar you have no friends and you're being picky about what type of friend you want i love it I'm not looking for any friends who enjoy the new type of TikTok rave techno or EDM. I'm also not looking for friends who can only enjoy techno and drugs. I live and breathe this music and I'm always listening to sets during the week at work, commuting or exercising. I live techno for about seven years now. I'm not going anywhere. I miss the days of industrial techno and polished too. I'm looking <laughs> again like you, sometimes you wonder hmm, i think we know why you don't have any friends love you sound like a bit of a pain in the ass i'm not gonna lie <laughs> you sound like a pain in the ass but i also understand that if you are looking for friends online you probably should be clear about your intentions or you should be clear about your wants and needs there's no point in just saying oh i want any friend and your friend comes through and they're like oh my favorite artist is sarah landry and you're like what you know what i mean like it's gonna get on your nerves so i get it but fucking hell some of my favorite techno producers and DJs at the moment are Dax J, Umwelt, DVS1, Freddie K, D Dan, Farah Stranger. These are all very obvious and bait names, though, to be fair, though, isn't it? Like, no one's going to argue with you. Maybe D Dax J, I might argue with you because I think he's kind of overrated. But overall, these are kind of the, the ones that everybody likes. So, on one aspect, don't be a TikTok rave techno fan or EDM fan. That's too bait. That's too obvious. That's too commercial. That's too lame. But then you've also gone for the easy options that everybody knows and likes and respects. You're not really challenging 
yourself or your potential friends and really testing their musical knowledge by saying you like Fred because who's going to say they don't like Freddie K I said I don't like him and I think he's a bit overrated but people kind of went in my comments and were attacking me oh, you know real techno fan. you haven't seen him play for 12 hours in Berlin. so fuck off I've seen enough to think you know it's not what you guys think it is but in general I think it's fucking hilarious um, I could possibly list a dozen more though I really like percussion heavy tracks I'm also a massive into industrial and hardcore sounds like KRT the outside agency um somaniac one hellfish dolphin prs <laughs> she's really getting off on listing all these things isn't it was an insane event in rotterdam also new to hard style if you like that wink face going out in london i mostly like fold and event again all the bait in obvious places this feels like this this feels like it's going to be a catfish by the way I don't know. Whoever responds to this, you got to be careful. Um, going out to London, I mostly like Fold and Venue MOT. The best event I've been to was um, Mono, Mon, sorry, Monono Black, Mononon Black, 24 hour party and fold. It's all the big ones like Radion, Discord, RIP, though, Deck Manton, and all the other reactor unpolished events. Uh, Rafa lost, <laughs> rather lost. I also have been to Bergheim and RSO a few times. I love them a lot. So I hope to be back soon. Hopefully, someone here can join me at the above locations for some parties. If you think you might connect well, send me a message about who you are, your favorite artist. Hopefully, this post isn't embarrassing. I made two of my closest friends from Reddit. So I guess it works for something. So. This is a question that needs to be had in it. How do you make friends in techno? How do you make friends in the rave scene? And I don't know. I think if you're a young woman, based on the accounts I've read recently, that Kamal Williams post from RA, the feature article about him allegedly diddling loads of people and being an abuser and maybe being an outright fucking rapist, right? According to some of the accounts that people share there, allegedly. I think you have to be very careful. You have to move with a lot of caution. You can't give people the benefit of doubt. In my personal opinion, I think if I had a sister, um, I would definitely say that. You can't give anybody in nightlife the benefit of doubt. doesn't matter how nice they appear, how cool they might be. You cannot give anybody the benefit of doubt. You have to have the suspicion that everybody's a creep, that everybody's a monster, that everybody can take advantage of you and then move accordingly based on their actions. Not just off, oh, I just feel like he's nice. No, 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 no. Let that person act first and then you respond based on how they act. If they act like a cunt, break them off instantly. If they give you the ache and the red flag, cut them off instantly and don't look back. Even if they turn out to be a nice person, it is what it is. You took an L on that one and keep it moving. You can't make, you can't take any risk because being under the influence of alcohol and drugs, then they put yourself in a position to be in contact or in the, you know, environment of people that you don't know and then having it pan out really negatively it's sometimes fatal and you can't come back from it so you know you're better off you're better off being you're better off being a bitch than you are better off being dead all right you're better off being a bitch than you are being dead so be a bitch be regarded as rude and whatever it may be but at least you're not dead that's the one thing and i think secondly if you're a girl you probably have way more luck making friends irl than you would do like this personally i feel like there's more of a luck that way if that makes any sense you have way more luck doing that actually go to events and meet people that are and it does it's not hard man it really isn't like i legitimately when i was first going out and i was trying to make friends before i realized i enjoyed my own company i would legitimately go and buy men for cigarettes and just like stand in a smoking area pretending to smoke and be like hanging out and like jumping into conversations like a fucking loser like oh my god i like your hair oh i like your belt oh do you like do you, do you, do you came in to see and then just get talking and sometimes you know you'd strike out and people would tell you to fuck off and then sometimes you'll make some friends and you had them on instagram you might see them another time and shit which is what i prefer personally i think sometimes always going for the fucking social media ad can sometimes ruin the flow and the organic kind of nice cool nature of a first interaction so sometimes just letting the interaction be what it is in the moment and then, then be like oh yeah shit i'm gonna be here i'm forward next week or i'm gonna be at this event whatever then seeing them at that event is way better for your actual relationship than going for the fucking you know number or the fucking um in you know social media handle whatever it may be but that's actually a better way because i think people will be more receptive to girls than they will be to boys especially a guy that looks like me Do you know what i mean it'd make more sense so i think you're better off doing that regard another really sly thing to do which is a bit risky as well depending on the groups that you join but there's quite a few groups on like whatsapp on like telegram that you could join and sometimes some of these groups have like a women's only kind of subgroup 
so they have like a major group and then they have like a you, again you just got to do your googles maybe search around the, the the subreddits and stuff and you'll find them but sometimes they do have a women's only kind of group and sometimes another thing that you could do again for women i think it's it's easy and it won't be seen as being creepy you could just join a group and then if you see some girls on there that talk or kind of like have the same sort of interest that you have just dm them on the side say hey and just search it, give them a little blurb hey i'm i'm this girl i'm 20 i mean I'm, i want to hang out and shit blah 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 and then that might be a good way to kind of get into another circle of people or maybe there's an invite only group that they might get you in touch with all those things are really necessary but i think sometimes putting out these kind of like bat signals online on a big bait subreddit somewhere because sometimes invite the wrong type of energy you know what i mean or the wrong type of people your way um and i think sometimes as well the beauty of community like this like rave thing is that it happens at the rave itself it doesn't really happen online like this i think a lot of the best ones for me personally are the ones i cultivated in real life and then it kind of sp spilled out into the fucking groups and shit i think that's the best way to do it when it goes the other way it can kind of be a bit fucked up so that might be the best way to kind of do it but i think irl i would go for irl over anything but it does represent uh this post does represent a example of how difficult it is for people to just make friends in general even when you've got an interest that you that is hyper specific right an interest like techno or clubbing is like hyper specific it's like a niche within a niche within a niche within a niche you'd think everybody's your but it's not it's really hard to kind of infiltrate and to get in because you know it just is but then it's even harder especially places place like london where everyone's very clicky they don't really open up their social groups and the weird thing about london i think like most places that are really hard to get into is that once you do get into one group all of the groups open up everyone's really nice but it's just hard to kind of get past that first barrier that first door everyone's just kind of being a bitch and being rude and being kind of cunty it's hard to kind of knock it down but once you do knock it down everyone's fucking fine so um you know keep your head up whoever that person is and i think for all women out there i think you should be very careful about you know how you navigate the landscape but i think the best thing possible is to go in real life events befriend people in smoking areas maybe go really early too that might be another tip as well maybe go really early when the place actually opens don't go when it's full go when it's really early and then usually a lot of the people you know i guess some of the people that go solo will come really early or come really late sometimes really go go uh, really early and see if you can kind of befriend people hey, waiting around the toilets waiting around the bars on the dance floor and then kind of go that way that might be a, another one as well but yeah take it as it comes take it as it comes but whatever you do don't give anybody the benefit of the doubt. That's what I say. That's what I say.